हेलो 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 हाय गाइस गुड मॉर्निंग वेलकम बैक टू न्यू वीडियो इन दिस वी कौन सी प्रॉब्लम फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल की हाल चाल आई होप यू गाइस आर डूइंग गुड इन दिस वी कौन सी मैक्सिमम टोटल इंपॉर्टेंस ऑफ रोड इट जस्ट सेज दैट यू आर गिवन एन इंटीजर एन व्हिच डिनोट्स द नंबर ऑफ सिटीज इन अ कंट्री एंड दीस आर नंबर्ड फ्रॉम 0 टू n 1 सो इन दिस एग्जांपल यू कैन सी आई एम गिवन n सो आई विल हैव Five cities numbered zero, one, two, three, and four. As you can also see, I have zero, one, two, three, and four. I have these five cities which are given to me. Okay. Now I am also given a two-digit integer array called as roads, where road of I is A I to B I, which denotes that there exists a bi-directional road connecting A I to B I. So I will have roads array zero, one. It says there is a road from zero to one. There one to two. There's a road from one to two. There's a road from two to three. There's a road from zero to two. There's a road from one to three. There's a road from two to four. So this will tell me bi-directional. It is not putting any arrow. It is bi-directional, which means both arrows are there, which you can also represent as a straight line. Okay. Now you need to assign each city with a value from one to n. As you can see, you have five cities. You have to assign them with values from one to n, which means one to five. As you can see, I have assigned the value one to this, two to this, three to this, four to this, and five to this. How I assign that? That's you have to think of. Now, how you can assign that? It is given where each city value can be used only once. As you can see, I allotted my value only once. And the importance of road is then defined as the sum of values of the two cities it connects, which means the importance of this road is defined by the sum of the cities it connects. So the importance of this road is two plus four. Importance of this road is three plus four. Now ultimately, maksat your main aim is maximum total importance of all the roads. So ultimately, okay, that's simple. That what I will do. I will go and find the importance of all the roads, sum that up, and that will be that is something I have to maximize. So imagine that you allot some numbers. Like forget right now that you have these numbers. Imagine that you allot the number by yourself. Let's say I told it x one, x two, x three. X four and X five. This is a number which let's say I have allotted to it. Right now I don't know what the actual values of X one, X two, X three is, but let's say I have allotted this. If I take the importance of this road, it will be X one plus X two again. When I am writing something here, it is X one plus X two. Remember, Max said, "Ni bola your main aim was to maximum total importance of all the roads," which means ultimately you will have to add up the importance of all the roads so as to get. This total importance of all the roads. Okay, next road was x one two three, which will say x two plus x three. So I will say x two plus x three. Again, this is only showing that so far the importance is x one plus x two plus x two plus x three. Okay, next time is one to two a road. So importance will be x two to x four. Okay, next time the importance is this road. I'm just getting for all the roads. I'm just adding their importance. So as to get the total importance, it will be x1 plus x4, x1 plus x4. Okay. Next time this road, x3 plus x4, x3 plus x4. Okay. Next time last ro road, this road, two to four, which means x4 to x5. So ultimately, in my answer, this is what I have to add up, and this should be as max as possible. What what is this? It is Two into x one plus three into x two plus sorry two into x three plus four into x four plus x five. This should be as max as possible. In which I can allot x one, x two, x three, x four, x five with the values of one, two, three, four, or five. Anything x one can be one. Anything, anything. Now looking at this equation, you know that all these numbers are positive. You know all these are also positive. Right, this is a simple mathematical rule. If you have two numbers, one is already larger, one is already larger, one is small. If you and again, let's say you have these numbers A and B, A and B. Another number, let's say you have C and D. If you want to get the maximum product, 
so you will have to multiply higher number with a higher number so that you get a very high number and then again if you can only assign a one number to one number then you will just allot that higher number to higher number for multiplication and the remaining number will go with a smaller number that's a simple greedy math rule for example if i take a very basic example one you have to let's say two and a nine another is also let's say another number let's say is three and eight let's say let like two and nine only two and nine so it's very 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 optimal to multiply higher number with the higher number i'll get 81 then okay i cannot although to achieve the highest value i could have multiplied my nine with two which could have given me the highest value but once a number used it cannot be used again so i have to use next higher number with the next higher number in this case it is two only so i'll multiply and make it four 85 is the highest number if i would have gone about multiplied okay first number with first number so it would have been 18 plus 18 which is way less so so as to achieve a very high value we will multiply a higher number with a higher number this is what we realize from here because because I just have to assign these numbers somewhere here, somewhere here, somewhere here. So I will say, okay, I have to achieve a high value. So four is the highest number. I'll, I'll multiply five here, which means at the place of x4, I should put a five to achieve my highest value. So at the place of x4, I will put my five. As you can see, here we have five. Okay, same way, five is done now, four. It should come where? Four should come at the next higher. Four should come at x2. Next higher, 4 should come at x2. Okay, let's go to 4, uh, x2, x2. Yeah, x2, we have 4 here. Okay, next time, uh, next is 3. 3 can come x1 also or x3 also. Both are same. So, my 3 can come at both x1 or my x3, x3. In this case, they have put at x3, but it will not matter. You can put it anywhere. Let's say I put it at x3. Okay. Although, you, you can put it anywhere. Okay, x3 is gone. Now, this is also gone. X3 is gone. Now, next comes is 2. Next high value is 2 only. So, it will come at X1. So, I will come at X1 and put it here. And last but not least, it is medium value 1. So, it will come here. As you can see, I will put it here. X1 is here itself. And that's your answer. You want the summation of this value and you know 2 into 2, 3 into 4, 2 into 3, 4 into 5 plus 1 is your final answer. So, how will you solve it? Simply, you will have to figure out again. Uh, you, have, you, you have to figure out this specific value. What is this? What is a 4 for your x4? If you remember, what is a 4 for your 4? 1, 2, 3, 4. How many edges are coming on to that node 2? Was its factor? Like, was it that number 4? Same way, for this, for this if I come on to my... <coughs> x2 so it has 3 which is saying 1 2 and 3 i have 3 edges 3 edges which comes to it so ultimately it gives me very good hint that i have to find the degree of all the nodes so what i'll do i will have a degree array which will go and find the degree of all the nodes so degree of 0 will be 2 1 2 degree again 0 1 0 1 2 3 and 4 indexes which represents nodes and the value here represents the actual degree of those nodes. So, 0's degree is 2. 1's degree is 3. 2's degree is 1, 2, 3, 4, 4. 3's degree is again a 2. 4's degree is 1. Now, my task is to assign numbers 1, 2. Sorry, if I just put different number, the different color. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. I have to assign, okay, highest number, highest value. Highest number, highest value. Highest number, highest value. Highest number, highest value. Highest number, sorry. Highest number, highest value. Highest number, highest value. Like this. So, ultimately, it makes sense to simply sort it out and then multiply line by line. So, I will simply sort my degree array. 1, 2, 2, 3 and 4. Then, simply 1 multiplied by 1. 2 multiplied by 2, 3 multiplied by 2, 4 multiplied by 3, 5 multiplied by 4, it is your final answer. That's the only thing which you have to do. So, you realize that simply get the degree of all the nodes, sort the degree, then multiply with the corresponding values, again, 1, then 2, then 3, then 4, then 5, because it is what you have to multiply with. Cool, let's see the code. It's exactly the same. Firstly, we have to get the degree. We know that we, have, we are given the edges. We'll simply iterate on this edges. We'll simply iterate on the edges edges let's say u to v 
what does h will do this will increase the degree of u increase the degree of v so i iterate on the edges it increase the degree of u it, it increase the degree of v when this edges is done then i have to sort the edges i have to sort the edges then when the edges are sorted now i can compare with the sorted edges let's say if i write back 1 2 2 3 4 and yeah 3 4 i have to just again this is my sorted degree vector i have to simply multiply with 1 2 3 4 and 5 which means I'll put a value again. You can make a value array, but you don't need it because you just have to multiply with one value. Multiply by one, the first index, then increase the value to two. Multiply the next index with two, increase the value to three. Multiply that next index to three, increase the value to four. Multiply that to four, increase the value to five. Multiply that to five, and that's your final answer. So I'll keep a keep a value as a variable which is initialized to one. I go on to my degree which is sorted right now. I will multiply my degree with the corresponding value and will increase the value for the next step. And ultimately, I will get the final result, which is maximum. This is mixing your greedy and your degree approach, which is used in your topological sort. But in general, you can use it for many kind of problems. Yesterday, also, we saw a problem which was involving that same, same concept of degree. It was problem 1791, find center of a star graph. Cool. I hope you got it. See you. Goodbye. Take care. Do join Discord and please sub it. It helps a lot. Like the video. If it helped you, if not, then you can just go. Bye bye.